vlog in internet Oh! Along the tuling ah So here was the existing wall. There's the joint, very minimal. And there is the bottom of that beam looking really good. Yep, came out really nice. That'll be very easy to finish. No need plastering these walls. Most of this will just wipe off. We'll just go through it with a scraper, scrape the slag off. Very nice joint. So when we do get the opportunity when this cures longer to pull these rest of these supports out in here, um, then we are ready to just go through here, scrape off all that slag off the walls. I've got this grinder that, you know, that diamond top wheel grinder, not a, not a grinding wheel like you cut with, a flat surface grinding wheel that's for concrete. I can just take and go over it and hit these little places like along this seam. Just run it down through there. Like I say, it's flat, round wheel. I'll show it later in a video. Most of you guys that's worked around this type of stuff know what I'm talking about. It'll knock any of that extra little slag off and smooth that joint. I'm ready to skim coat. You can texture, whatever you want to do, it's ready. There's no having to come in here and do that rendering. Throwing, mixing, mixing, mixing sand and cement and throwing it on the wall and pulling nylon strings and building it up that thick and trying to keep it smooth and not all wavy looking. And it's usually wavy looking. It is. Sometimes in pictures and stuff, it looks so smooth. And, uh, and when you catch the right lighting or natural sun lighting on it and you look down the wall, it's just in and out everywhere, you know. That big white house next door to me at night, when they turn on their outside lights, Man, it looks as rough as the earth down those walls because their security lights will throw shadow down the wall. You can see every high and low. And uh, I just don't want it like that. I want it smooth and clean. And that is exactly what I'm getting. A nice formed finish like this. Look at this. Look at this corner here. Yeah. Look at that corner. Perfect, look at that.
Juan Español. Juan Español. I've been removing another form right now. Man, it looks really good. Looks super good. Look at that. Right on the beam where they join the wall. The wall came out nice where it joins. It looks good, doesn't it, Ammon? Man, nice. Man, you did a good job. It's gonna make finishing out this room so easy. I mean, it is literally, as soon as the bamboo and the forms are out of the way, it's ready to go to, to finishing. Emma's continuing around in here, stripping forms on the beams in these rooms. Man, all that looks so good. Looks really good. This wall here came out very nice. This will be inside the uh, CR in one of the downstairs rooms here. Pre-wired breaker box right there, just ready to finish out, put the breakers and covers as soon as forms are out of the way. Pull the main wire though through the large conduit down to that breaker box it'll be coming from a main box above down to that sub panel so do still have that but that that conduit's big enough and i put those long sweeps on those corners to where um, it'd be real easy to guide that around down in there not a problem at all so uh man i tell you what i pull that power uh, to there i can i could even jump it off my current uh solar system over there right now Stick light fixtures and all in here and have uh, lights in here very soon. Like I say, just hang some uh, temporary cheap lights 
just wire nut them on, hang it down, just like you do in a lot of construction. And that way when we're in here skim coating and finishing before we're ready to put the final lights and product in. Of course, you don't want your nice lights bearing, you still gotta do uh, finishing on the ceiling and you're gonna get skim coat and powder and all kinds of paint and everything all over them. So hang some temporary uh, light sockets up there. Screw in some of those LED light bulbs and turn the lights on. It's looking really great. You see here we're recovering our screws, recovering different nails. We got a little organizers here. We're kind of semi getting it all organized. See here, everything's all together. And the guys also got them in their pouches and they're breaking them down too. Recovering hardware. Joel's got a bunch more. Look here, he's got buckets full of screws recovered, screws recovered, hardware recovered. And that is what we're doing. Look here, even more. <laughs> he said, look here, you can see, you can see all of it because we got it all together. The guys are doing a great job. I thought you were a Filipina. I'm not. When did you become Latina instead of Filipina? Huh? So now you're a Latina I, Filipina? I, I convert. You converted when you went to Texas, huh? Yes. When you went to Tejas, you went from Filipina to Latina. Mm. <laughs> You got their lard? Yes. You go. That's what you mean. You can estimate the main bridges. That's enough. Not so wet, not really so dry. So I call that one here it, in Mexican, it's called masa harina. Here in the Philippines, if you're doing like this, it's called masa. This, uh, <laughs> we call this one masa the way we did it. So, so this is the banana heart, the coconut, what's it got? Onion, tomato. What else besides banana heart, onion, tomato, coconut, and what? Yeah, I see lots of onion. It smells so good. Oh man, we can charge him a bunch. Fill it up. 
Uh, uh, here, I'll be the one to do Miller's. Wait, I'll be the one to do Miller's. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, be, I'll do Miller's. Okay, <laughs> it's done. That's it, Oh, uh, that's it. It's a crisis. We must ration. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Again, what, what, which one? Which one? Huh? Huh? Which one are you going to get? <laughs> Thank you.
Mo. So you're creating another Latina now, huh? The new Latina? Man, next we're gonna have to get her a sombrero. Yeah, sombrero. Can you provide it? And some pointy boots. You have to get some long pointy boots. That's what them Latinos wear, them long boots that look like skis with a silver tip on the end. <laughs> because they can't find them for your wide flat duck feet. <laughs> I'm the one that even put all of these here in the past. I uh, gave JR the money up front, the guy that's supposed to have been our caretaker, but he, the people that were supposed to be managing this stopped paying him. And uh, so I would give him money to make some of these bamboo panels, just like I had the family doing it today. Wow, I want to smell that. Oh, those gonna be really nice with that, with that wood cooking it instead. You know, when that get that smokiness to them. Man, that is awesome. Has it been long enough? Try the one. I'll be the one. Everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not done yet. Mm -mm. No, it's not done. Not done yet. No. Let me get the lid back up before you lose your steam. I'm gonna Just return, put it. return it. Just wrap it back up. Before you lose all your steam. A little bit of Texas in the Philippines. Give this a try here. I actually already ate one, at least to be honest. Let's see how this turned out here. Oh man, that looks good. Mm. Man, oh man, just look at that. My goodness. Fresh pork tamales in the Philippines.